everybody, it's me, Neil. Welcome to the <laughs> Weekly Fix. 27 Ducati models have been revealed. KTM, we got some spy shots on some new models and prototypes. Honda's bringing back a classic that we all love. And Cowie, they might be throwing their name into the electric game. All right, so our Ducati news, a couple of new models have been revealed. The first one's in the video, and you might have seen this already, or maybe it's playing right now. Uh, they're doing the 2017 Ducati Monster 1200. Kind of cool, they're going back to the 93 base, that that's really what started the whole Naked Street Fighter. This guy's gonna have 150 horsepower. Um, looking at the video too, you can see it. Sleeker tank, the body styling, again, doing the single headlight. Uh, thing looks pretty badass, and of course, for the 1200cc Street Fighter, I mean, no one's gonna touch you on that thing, so. Uh, the other one though, and this one's just some spy picks, is a multi strata in the 950 platform. Um, the one that I was kind of scoping out, one that I like, 19 inch front wheel, gives you the option of knobbies both front and rear that way. And this one's doing about 113 horsepower. So hopefully we will see those things this spring. All right, so the good old internet has once again released a video online of a KTM prototype. This is gonna be the 790 Duke. So this thing looking, speculating, it looks like a KTM, it's got the angular looks, it's got the cut tank and everything else, the single light on top of another light. Uh, probably gonna be 100 horsepower, um, 400, 425 pounds. Ultimately this bike though is one, two, maybe even three years away. So don't know if it's gonna happen, but the thing looks badass and I'm hoping, hoping that this will help them push their brother in arms, Husqvarna, to go ahead and push their bikes forward that they've been showing for the last two years that I would love to try. So again, KTM, getting on top of it and making some new stuff happen. All right, and Honda is definitely realizing they have a good thing going and they're bringing back the legendary CB1100. Kind of a blast from the past, coming back to us here in the US. Some of you might remember that we did have a US version a few years back. Um, the photo that we're using is actually the European model. So that'll lead us to kind of speculate on, are there gonna be differences? Maybe there's an exhaust difference or something like that, because especially here, in the U.S., we're always about uh, keeping the air clean. So. Deep in the woods of North Carolina, an extremist eco-group called Earth First bewails the violation of American nature. I want to mourn the loss of all the old growth trees I've seen! Anyways, this bike, though, as you know, is a classic. 1100, it's a beast classic Boulevard Cruiser. Uh, and I think for this bike too, this is definitely gonna be, again, their kind of, uh, I would say, opponent for the uh, Triumph Bonneville, which has been dominating the cafe market. So once again, Honda doing this bike, it looks great. Um, I love the color, super clean. And I mean, it literally looks like it hasn't changed in 40 years. So looking forward to seeing this thing. All right, Kawasaki once again added, and this time an electric motorcycle patent has been leaked, which means this is probably gonna happen. And, Dare I say that Cowie is going green? I know it's a good one there, thanks Chris. Anyways, <laughs> this thing, Street Fighter look. Uh, it was interesting, they talk about the power and I guess they're relating the power that the bike will give to that of a small pickup. So I don't really know what that means, like a, a little Yoda or something, I don't know. Because those aren't actually very powerful at all, they can't even make it in my driveway, but regardless. Uh, I think it's cool they're doing it. Now what they're working on though here, and everybody knows this with electric bikes and electric motors, is cooling. So they are still working on the cooling system on this, and it looks like they might have it, but again, these are all pictures, you know, we don't really know, nobody knows what's going on. And ultimately, will this be linked to their artificial intelligence bike that they were trying to do, uh, I think like maybe half a year ago? Because if so, folks, we could be in trouble. They could be taken over, I don't know. But we're gonna have to find out what's happening with Cowie soon, and uh, we'll see how this bike turns out. Hey everybody, it's me, it's Neil. I've come back from 2035. I need to warn you, Cowie must be stopped. The AI bike, the electric bike, it is causing havoc. They've taken over the world. We gotta go, but someone needs to stop this. Skynet's trying to take over. <laughs> Et ça se touche et l'accrochage Et une voiture Incroyable image de Jules Gounon posée sur le toit de Geoffrey de Narda. Et, Geoffrey, et Jules Gounon qui va perdre gros au championnat cette année. All right, well, as you can probably see, Leo was unable to make it this morning. Or I don't know where he is, probably running late. But we want to bring back our special guest, Erin. And uh, we're going to catch up and see what she's got going on, what's been going on, and what will be going on. So have at it. So this weekend, I'm going to drive down to San Diego, or over to San Diego, and um, watch the football game. I'm going to watch the Raiders versus Chargers. And you are a... San Char Francisco 49er fan. Oh, holy cow. Does that mean you're going to take a knee during the game, or what are you going to do? Yeah, I'll probably okay. just stand there. <laughs> <laughs> I 
hand over my Oh, arm. wow, all right.